feel for our soldiers, men and women, that's over there fighting because they don't know what the hell they're fighting for. You know, they're over there, pawns on the chessboard. And this man has got, he's got all the moves, you know what I mean? So to all the parents out there who children is fighting right now, uh, my prayers is with you. Pray for your, your uh, young ones to make it home safe, you know. Home. Lotto TV, back with your boy Bang Bang, and my man, Clipsomatic. And the topic right. of the day is Clipsomatic. What state is hip hop there right now, my man? Hip hop is in a bad spot right now. Um, for the reason being, the, uh, the, the, the people representing right now, the, the artists is representing the art right now. They disrespecting the art because they don't know the history of it. So if you don't know the history of something, how can you respect something you don't know nothing about? So um, they in it for the for the big chains and the, and the fancy cars, and, you know, and the bitches. But what they ain't understanding is soldiers have died for this shit. And um, y'all disrespecting the game by not respecting that. So that's what you guys' this problem is, and that's what's wrong with hip hop. So if you don't respect hip hop, all the music is gonna be like it is right now. We do rolling rocks, you feel me? When it's the squad, when we all together, we roll rock, you feel me? We rock and roll, and we rock and move. You know what I'm saying? You in the pot with Bang Bang, special public announcement. I'm gonna holler at my man right here. And man, what state is hip hop in right now, dog? Uh -huh, say that right again. What state is hip hop in right now? Hip hop is in Cali, Long Beach, the city. You better know it, nigga, and show it. You understand? What, what state is hip hop in? Is it is it, is it prosper? Is it going down? Is it, I believe, is it whack? Is it? I believe. Is it? Hip -hop, the state of hip hop right now is it's up and down, I believe. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, you got your highs, you got your lows, you even got your mids, you know what I'm saying? But uh I believe hip hop ain't dead. No, hip hop ain't dead. Hip hop is still alive, man. We here right here, right now. You know what I'm saying? Sloppy toppy down the knee. She give you sloppy toppy down the knee. Sloppy toppy down beneath. Have any body see my ain't. New banger, new banger today. New banger of the day. New banger of the day. You gotta do that. New banger of the day, y'all. about this album was it really wasn't even supposed to be an album it was like we was coming to the studio chilling but whatever that vibe was every song that came out it was that really vibe in the studio you get yeah. what i'm saying like 2017 nigga chronicle back wood rolling hot boxes still smoking back back wood rolling hot boxes still smoking back wood <laughs> Bang is like more like a, uh, you know, uh, 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 Bang is like a Crip Prince. <laughs> I'll buy that. You know, I'll buy that. So, you know, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. You, we gonna that come great. creative with all type of little stuff. Yeah. You know? I've been doing this for a long 
time. So my thing is about it's it's about feeling like when somebody hear my music, I want them to feel it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's like my approach because I feel like we have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Once when people used to be like, you tight, you tight, you tight. Once I got older, I was like, but damn, when I say something, people might listen. You know what I'm saying? And when we went on tour, you you know, in, in yourself, because we ain't big or nothing, but we on tour, but it was like thousands of people were responding to us. We trying to walk out in the crowd, they the owners, they like, oh, y'all y'all famous. And we like, nah, but they felt something. I swear to tell the truth, I tell the truth. I swear to tell the truth, I tell the truth. I swear to tell the truth, I tell the truth. It wasn't about, they didn't see us on no too many videos. They didn't see us award shows. It was more like, when we got on stage, you gonna feel us. You know what I'm saying? Like, But they blessed us. Like, you know, shout out to Snoop, shout out to Percy, uh, Jamie Adler, Live Nation, everybody that put us on the tour. Uh, shout out Return to Doggy Style Records. Shout out LBC Movement, Pomona City Movement, uh, Carson. Now, y'all might not know this, but my man is a is a military man, and I just want to find out how he feel about this shit that's going on with this Donald Trump and the military and crazy mighty choco the motherfucker chink over there want to push the panic button and blow this motherfucker up. Just think about that, man. Well, uh, being a veteran. And been uh, and been have served. Um, I believe. Well, I think that my personal opinion is, I'm not uh, for our free leaders' decision making. And I'm not gonna mention his name because he should not be named. But you know what Fuck I'm talking Trump. about. That's right. Um, I, I feel for our soldiers, men and women, that's over there fighting because they don't know what the hell they're fighting for. You know, they over there pawns on the chessboard. And this man has got he's got all the moves, you know what I mean? So to all the parents out there who children is fighting right now, uh, my prayers is with you. Pray for your your uh, young ones to make it home safe. You know, hopefully nothing will happen to them. But I just feel like it's a waste of time because you over there fighting for what? What is they over there fighting for? What are they over there endangering their lives for? To be a hero, to get a medal or a badge, and for their family to get a freshly folded flag for what? You know what I mean? When this man don't even respect the Constitution or what it's about, it's why the athletes is taking the knee. It ain't because they disrespecting the flag, it's because uh, the, the, the flag stands for nothing right now, especially not our people. In here with that real. I'm not talking to you. Little Charles OG. <laughs> we do this shit real in the pot. Look at that. This shit every day. This is a lotto. This is what we do. This is a lotto, nigga. When you niggas can get up to this level, fuck with us. Until then. Until then. Just think about smelling this shit. Um, that was, uh, that was just in me from just the early childhood. And uh, when I got to be a teenager, I just bought my own. You know, it cost me 75 bucks, and I had a beautiful drum set for $75. And from then on, I've worked two years working hard on the drums and was professional by 19. So I started when I was 17 and ended up professional at 19. Never stopped ever since then. My man Suge, Long Beach Finest, you know what I'm talking about. Suge, what state is hip hop in right now, man? Hip hop fucked up. All these motherfucking faggots out there. I'm giving it 100 right now. You can't keep it 100. Yeah, I'm saying all these gay ass niggas out here, they getting on. Real niggas can't get shit. You know what I'm saying? What up, what up, so, so what you think about these youngsters wearing these dresses, dog? Speaking of problems, man. I know, that, gun, I know that they grow up on the east side, nigga. I'll show you that much. What side they on? I don't know what side what they on. Nigga with they different colored dreadlocks. Niggas twerking and shit on stage, nigga. Niggas wearing purses and shit. Purses and purses. Hey, look. Come on, bro. It's a no fly zone for that shit in Long Beach. It's a no fly zone for niggas wearing dresses, fingernail polish. No fly zone. At period. At all. At all. On site. On site. Saying. We ain't got nothing against it. Just don't bring it over here. We can get it. Who's the, the hottest? Problem, the problem. The problem. Hot time, motherfucker. What's the problem? Feel me? 
You know what I'm saying? Working with Bang Productions for the make a banging production. You feel me? Yes, sir. Once again, I'm in the nigga's face. You know what I'm talking about? That nigga bang, cuz. I want every motherfucker bang, cuz. You know what to do. The lotto. Black coming to you, that guy. Dirty red. Did the damn thing. Come. You are now watching who's the hottest. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely subscribe to this here you know, page. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be who's the hottest. It's number one. You got the gold head and tune in, man. Two old men in the building. You know what I'm saying? Money Wayne. Jew. The lotto. Lotto. Black.